Um, so I want to get your NFL perspective on this. So, so uh, Michigan has entered the NFL Combine, and we have uh, a grand total of 18 uh, people, uh, 18 athletes that are are doing that. Um, so obviously you've got, uh, you know, you know, uh, the, the natural comeback is going to be, well, you got a lot of 23 year olds, 22 year olds or whatever, but is this something we're going to see more of now that NIL is a thing now that, uh, transfer portals, a thing and people are staying longer or is, do you think this is just a temporary thing with, uh, so many people getting eligibility with the COVID year and stuff? I, I think it's probably both. I think we're going to see an yeah. uptick in it but i do think the covid year had a huge impact on everything and, and obviously it has had that trickle down effect into the draft classes across the across the league and how they're viewed but i think that with the nil we're going to start to see an uptick in, in a lot of different things and i mean what jim harbaugh said what he said around 20 guys were going to go anyway and they get 18 so it, he, he was not wrong he was not lying when he said that and with, with, with the talent level they had I'm, I'm not shocked at all that all these guys got these invites uh, we do have a question. We have a couple of questions for you, and then we'll we'll let you go live your life. Um, but uh, but let's see here. Um, there is one serious question uh, <laughs> to, with, from from our our buddy dependent fanatic. Let me see if I can find it again. I literally had it. Um, <laughs> it was about age, and if here it is. Uh, so. Should age and crossing over to college give Michigan concern? I, I don't think so. I, I think that, again, the, the thing with Martindale and his defense is it is a very complex defense, but Michigan has ran this defense with Mike McDonald and with Jesse Minter. So if Martindale was going to a new program and uh, he was going to a school that – you know, had never seen this defense before and had never run this defense before. I think I'd be a bit more concerned of, oh, there's going to be a huge learning curve because I think for Martindale, he's he got here for a reason. He's not going to change everything he's done. But obviously, he probably talked to, to Mike McDonald, probably talked to Jesse Minter, obviously John Har or John Harbaugh and Jim Harbaugh, the Harbaugh brothers have that connection with him. And even though Martindale's not going to be coaching under Jim here, I still think that their system that they've run in Michigan under McDonald and under Minter and, and kind of the, the lasting effects of the Jim Harbaugh era, it will stay with Don Martindale. The age factor I don't think is concerning to me. I think that Martindale, the, the main reason he took the Michigan job is because he thought it was an awesome opportunity and the talent level that Michigan has on defense, plus the fact that, again, all the coordinator positions dried up pretty quick, quickly within the league. I think it's a great fit. I, I don't think age and the college crop, the college bridge from the NFL is going to do a bunch in terms of what happens there. Got it. Uh, makes sense. And I agree. And then we also had, what is in that fish tank? <laughs> we got it. We got a couple of guppies up there. I, uh, I, I have to, I have to figure out what I'm doing with the walls here, but I got two guppies in that tank. I, uh, <laughs> Used to be three. One of them passed away, unfortunately. It was Edgar Allen oh. and Poe, so what my viewers on Locked on Ravens named them. Uh, but now we only have Edgar and Allen. Uh, so we might get a Poe Jr. in there at some point, but we got two little guppies in there. So I thought it would be a nice little aesthetic we got going on. Well, wrong side. There we go. It's fish tank. <laughs> love it. Love it. Um, and, of course, we, 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 you've gotten some, uh, some compliments yes, here from, from, from our, from our I appreciate community. I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Thank. And, and we appreciate you, Kevin, uh, for stopping by. So I definitely want to make sure you get the floor for a final thought. If you want to give a final thought and of course, where can people find you all over the internet? Yeah, I think Michigan is going to have a really good year. I think they have a good shot to repeat here as, as champions. I know it's been, you know, everybody's excited for what they did and it was, it was well-deserved, but I think Michigan has a shot here, especially with Don Martindale as their coordinator, for in terms of me and my work, you can find me on the Locked On Ravens podcast. We're five days a week, Ravens. So we talk about everything. If, if the Ravens end up drafting a Blake Corum or maybe they go J.J. McCarthy, I don't know. I mean, they, don't need, they don't need a quarterback with Lamar. But, of course, you can find me over there, YouTube, audio form, or five days a week plus bonus content. Also, I'm writing over at the Ravens Wire. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at ChaosStriker34. So if any social media, if the Ravens do draft a Michigan guy, I'll, I'll be spamming those Michigan highlights. I'll be previewing a couple of those Michigan guys as well, especially Blake being a, being a Maryland guy. So uh, I'm excited to see how the Michigan draft class goes this year. And of course, Michigan's year this upcoming season. 
Love it. Thank you for that, Kevin. And I know for a fact that you've gotten at least a couple more followers from, um, from our <laughs> I viewership. I appreciate that. I appreciate all, uh, all the followers so, and subscriptions. So there you have it. Um, so everybody follow Kevin's work all over Raven's Wire and Locked on Ravens. Um, and if you haven't followed him on Twix yet, we've got the link a couple of times to do that. Kevin, thanks for coming by Michigan Wolverine Live. I appreciate you having me. Thanks so much. Thanks, Kevin. Bye. All right. Um, so we appreciate that. Wow. Great guest. Love, love having a great guest here. Um, we try to, we try to bring on quality people here at the voice of college football, big J journalism here at the voice of college football. Um, a couple of things I want to point out, and then we're going to go to our next topic. Thank you, Moose. Great job. Great caller. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, let's run it back. Smash. Absolutely. Um, let's see, uh, repeat. Absolutely. Let's go for another natty. Why not? Michigan's running a championship defense back. Okay. With very few, uh, who've left that defense from last year, the offense. Yeah. It's going to be younger, but the amount of talent on that offense is going to be good. Um, that is a very talented uh, offense and a lot of hungry players that hungry Wolverines that are ready to eat. And hell yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. 